Welcome into our final Locked On Bracket breakdown from the first day of Sweet 16 matchups. We have Locked On Bruins here, Zachary anderson Yoxheimer. I am so sorry. I feel your pain. I had no dog in this fight, and this game was very dramatic, and like my heartbeat was insane, so I can only imagine how you were feeling, Zach. I know you were not pleased with this outcome, but this was an amazing game to watch. Yeah, it was uh, it was interesting because it was exciting. It seemed like for 35 minutes and then it seemed like it would come to an eventual end, but only for the last minute to pick up in out of nowhere. The Bruins took the lead. My blood pressure probably spiked. My heart was pounding extremely. But in the end, the big keys were stopping Timmy and getting rebounds. And those were the things that the Bruins didn't do today. Obviously, Timmy was a beast in and of itself. Um the, when these two teams get together, obviously we talked about some of the historic games, matchups they've had those last two meetings in the tournament, but it's just like something extra. And at no point did anything feel safe. It, did you feel like until that very last, the buzzer went off that they had a chance at it? I mean, yeah, I saw Strother miss the free yeah. throw and I was like, oh, maybe as a chance the shot was sailing in midair does he yeah. bank it in? Is it Jalen Suggs 2.0? Is it, mm -hmm. I was about to come on here and scream heartbreak city. 2.0 and instead yeah. I'm the one with the heart broken and I'm going to go lay in bed eyes wake tears down the side of my face all night long but it, you know for some reason especially with the game two years ago and a couple of these team couple of the players being from those two teams it definitely felt like it added some more tonight I I don't want to harp too much on this because I mean it was such a like it really felt like whoever had the ball last almost was going to win so when you look at what this team has been able to do in the tournament. They've had so much success throughout the years and you kind of have this, what do you feel like this takes into the next year? Do you feel like they can grow from this? I know they'll have turnover of course, but um, where can you go from here with this? I think Mick Cronin has certainly reestablished the UCLA brand. I know it's only one final four and two somewhat semi awkward, sour sweet 16s. Although last year they lost to North Carolina who went to the final was on the verge yeah. of winning it. And then you lose to Gonzaga and you have two starters out. So you can just say Mick Cronin's brought it back. In terms of next year, there's a lot of seniors who will be gone and even more potential draft picks who could be gone between Bona and Bailey. So next year might be a weird year, and it's their last year in the Pac-12. So it's a weird double transition year moving from Pac-12, what does the media rights deal and all that look like, mm. heading into Big Ten, everything with a lot of roster turnover potentially. And I know the portal's out there, and that can play a big factor. But the Bruins are, are back. It's just they haven't won that big game yet. It's just they have to wait another year to do so. Zach, we won't harp on it too much because I'm heartbroken for you too. Locked on UCLA will have all of, all of this breakdown, I'm sure, for any fans that want to go into it. Locked on College Basketball has all of the matchups for you, and everything is a part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.